Well, WLWT first told you about the eager beaver and the overeager plans, some say, of the city of Mason to deal with them. After a council meeting earlier in the week, supporters of the beaver are hopeful, but it may be false hope. WLWT News 5's Eric Zarnitz investigates. A divisive issue in Mason has earned a new title. It jokingly, we, we call it Beavergate. Beavergate was discussed at last Monday's council meeting, where about 10 supporters of the Pine Hill Lakes Park Beaver came and pleaded to the city. No official action was taken, but Mayor David Nichols said they would look into different options, leaving supporters hopeful. Uh, they did hear that there is a stop. We're, we, are, we are stopping. We're not doing anything right now, uh, but we are looking into it. I have a feeling that it's going to have to go. The beaver has to go. And according to state law, this is an all or nothing proposition. I spoke with Brett Beatty, a wildlife manager with the Ohio Department of Natural Resources. He says, quote, there is no mechanism to allow for the removal of a nuisance beaver, end quote. So the beaver is either left alone or killed. The city tells me one of their chief concerns is if that dam was to break free, drift downriver, it could clog the spillway. That would cause the lake to rise and eventually this earthen dam to break. The spillway looks plenty big enough, but the councilman said looks can be deceiving. Then if we had heavy rain, then it would fill up. And if this let loose, you'd have uh, potentially 50 foot of water running downstream to the houses and the apartments downstream. And the problem may be getting bigger. According to the councilman, there is growing evidence that the beaver may have a family. Reporting from Pine Hill Lakes and Mason, Eric Zarnitz, WLWT News 5. That could be a much bigger deal. A wildlife biologist from Beavers Wetlands and Wildlife says that beavers will continue to be an issue as they slowly repopulate southwest Ohio. Killing them is not a solution.